Uh, and look, in other technology news, UNESCO <laughs> claimed this week that giving digital assistance like Siri and Alexa female voices reinforces gender stereotypes uh, of women being subservient. Are digital assistants sexist, do you think? Joanna? I don't think so, because I think the Alexa voice is probably like your, like your schoolmistress at kindergarten school. So it's kind, authoritative, yeah. Yeah. Um, tells you what... It doesn't, seem, it doesn't seem subservient to me. It just seems rather kind of dreadful, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, would you, would you consider being the voice of a digital assistant? Depends on the money, but yes, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a big one over here. Would yeah. you like to hop in our giant... So I'm going to be the new voice. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to throw some questions at you. You're going to be the new voice, and uh, we're going right. to call you the... Not, not Alexa, Robbot. We're going to call you the Robbot. OK. okay. I'm in. OK, Robbot, uh, what's the weather going to be like? Uh, it's well hot this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beer garden weather, but take a jump, because it will get nippy when the sun goes down. Uh, what's the traffic like? Depends where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, which, yeah? which comedian won Lester Mercury New Comedian of the Year 2010? Oh, that, well, that's, not out, that's out of order. Uh, uh, to the shock of the room, <laughs> Lester and the whole of the East Midlands, Rob Beckett was runner-up to a vastly more experienced Michael McIntyre tribute act called Josh Widdowson. <laughs> 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 um, all right, we'll be back with more of The Last Leg in a minute. As Josh wraps up the last seven days and we find out who would make a better bodyguard in a milkshake crisis, we'll see you soon. My girlfriend's very middle class as well, like. She used to be upper class, but we're together now. That's how it works. <laughs>